When traveling to Japan, it's essential to be mindful of the do's and don'ts that govern social etiquette and customs. Understanding the following do's and avoiding the don'ts will not only enhance your experience but also ensure you leave a positive and lasting impression on the gracious host of this fascinating nation. Here are some things I wish I knew before traveling to Japan this summer. Garbage or trash bins are hard to find on the streets of Japan. Despite of this, the streets are very clean and well maintained. As a tourist, carry a small plastic bag with you to put your garbage in. Alternatively, you can also find trash bins around some drink vending machines on the streets. Japan can be quite hot from June to August. Stay hydrated by carrying a recyclable water bottle with packets of electrolyte. This will save you a lot of money while staying hydrated. There are drink vending machines at every corner. While the drinks itself aren't very expensive, it does add up. Also, the sugar content in most of these drinks are quite high. Many cities around Japan offer day passes for the tourists. But you can use that for unlimited bus transfers and some sightseeing for the day. Ask your hotel reception for more details. The IC card is known by different names in the different regions of Japan. For example, in Osaka, it's called Aikoka, while in Tokyo, it's referred to as Suika. These cards are extremely important and saves you the hassle of carrying a lot of cash around. You pay about 500 yen as a deposit for the card and then load it with the amount of your choice. This can be used for transport, restaurants, convenience stores and many more. You can also top them up at several top-up machines in the subway stations. Remember to top it up as needed since you won't get any leftover amount back. Also, in order to receive your deposit, make sure you return these cards in their own regions. The subway system in Japan is well developed and is very efficient. It can be overwhelming for the first time, but it's pretty straightforward once you figure it out. You can use these IC cards to pass through the gates of the subway station. Remember to pay close attention to your platform number each time you choose to take a train. Now, there is no tipping in Japanese culture. However, there are other ways of showing your admiration for the service. For example, in restaurants, slurping is seen as a compliment. Japan is known for its modest dressing. You will see people wear dress shirts, full pants and long dresses even during the hot months of summer. As a tourist, it's important to be mindful of such cultural things, especially by dressing modestly in the religious places like shrines and temples. Japanese public bathhouses and onsens are a unique experience that takes some time to get used to. These traditional bathhouses and onsens have clear guidelines on the expectations and behavior in these places. While most such establishments are closed to people with tattoos, some are more flexible and are tattoo friendly. They might let you in if you cover your tattoos with a tape. Pause this video and take a look at some of the etiquettes of Japanese traditional onsens. There are three major modes of transportation in Japan, JR, Shinkansen and Subway. The Shinkansen is a high-speed, long-distance railway connecting major cities across Japan, while the JR lines encompass a broader network of conventional trains serving various regions. Subways, on the other hand, are rapid transit systems within a major metropolitan area mainly used for commuting and traveling within cities. All these three components work together to create a comprehensive and efficient transportation system throughout Japan. Ryokyan are traditional Japanese houses and are popular among foreign tourists. Many hosts 
will ask you to take off your shoes as you enter the house. They will then provide you with wooden slippers. The beds are called futons and can be folded. It's almost like a quilted stuffed mattress. The rooms tend to be traditional and are smaller in size. The Google Maps are reliable in Japan, but sometimes they aren't. For example, during our trip, the map would sometimes point to the opposite direction of our travel. So we ended up taking a wrong bus, a wrong train, or even walked away from our destination. This can cost you time that is crucial during this trip, so just be mindful. Coin lockers and luggage services will be available at most subway stations, railway stations, bus stops, and even hotels will offer coin-operated storage lockers. These lockers vary in size, price, and time. These are especially useful if you arrive at a station early and wish to explore the areas around uh, during your layover. Store your luggage in one of these lockers and enjoy your travel. Now Japan is on entirely different level for washlets or bidet. These toilet seats not only come with washer but are often equipped with other features like heated seats, music, deodorizer and dryer. It takes a bit to get used to this, but once you are used to these toilets, you will definitely Google it to be installed in your homes. Most cities and small towns in Japan are surprisingly walker friendly. Here are two things to know. Walk on the left side so that people can pass you on your right. It is not common to make eye contact with strangers. Or greet them while walking. Also, be quiet on public transportation and don't eat food in buses, subways or trains. You will definitely get some looks, so just avoid it if you can. Learn some common Japanese phrases for hello, good afternoon, good night, good morning, yes, no, please, excuse me. This will come in handy by asking someone to take your photo or getting a ticket or just having normal conversations. While Google Translate will help you with these words, practicing them will help with their pronunciation. Kombinis are convenience stores in Japan and can be found at almost every couple blocks. There are three major ones, 7-Eleven, Family Mart and Lawson. These combinies will provide you with a lot of options for cheap food and drinks. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. The workers will warm up your food for you and you can even make your own smoothie blend. Buying food and drinks from these convenience stores will save you hundreds of dollars. Public display of affection isn't prevalent in Japanese culture. While you will see some PDA in larger cities like Osaka and Tokyo, in smaller counterparts, you won't. Love and admiration is expressed differently in different cultures. If you need to flag down a taxi, which is going to be important if you're getting to your hotel from the station, most stations will have proper taxi stands. The taxis operate on the meter system and are relatively cheap. If you need to flag down a taxi on the road, just raise your hand and wave at a taxi. The taxi driver will open the doors for you and will handle your luggage. Tipping a taxi driver is not a norm. Also, use the word taxi rather than a cab, a mistake we made in our travel. One of the best ways of getting an international SIM in Japan is just to opt for an eSIM. This will save you the hassle of SIM transfers and also you can load them with top up as needed. These eSIMs are not only convenient but also are very affordable. We have used eSIMs for our past few trips and we just love it. Remember to activate it properly the very first time and then you can thank me later for this suggestion. 
Some other apps that will come in handy are Map.me, Gurunavi, Planetize, Emeva, and Japan Taxi. So you will receive warning notifications on your phones. But it may feel annoying to get those frequent alarms. Know that they are fundamental to this advanced society. Also, Familiarize yourself with local safety plan and sounds of various alarms in case of natural disaster. Japan does sit on tectonic plates and experiences minor earthquakes on daily basis. This should not keep you from visiting this beautiful country since most buildings built after 90s are earthquake resistant and are designed to keep you safe. Finally, Indulge in this exquisite Japanese cuisine on the streets and local markets of Japan. Remember to sit and eat. You will encounter several signs in the markets reminding you to not walk while eating. Also, carry some cash with you, especially smaller bills. This will come in handy if you are a foodie like me and like to sample few different items at the same time. Now these are some essential do's and don'ts I wish I knew before going to Japan this summer. You are now all set for your Japan adventure. Happy travels! And for more videos like these, check out my YouTube channel and subscribe to it right now.